Angie Harness here, Keller Williams. Want to talk to you about the difference between selling to an investor versus putting your home out there on the open market to get the most money out of it. I'm not going to tell you that selling to an investment company is a bad thing, but what I am going to tell you is that it's really important that you make an informed decision because uh, the equity that you have in your home, assuming you want to get the most money out of it, knowing these numbers is going to be very important. So what sparked this uh, thought process of mine is I was speaking to a new buyer client of mine earlier this week who is moving here from another area, not an area where I sell in. And he was approached by an investor and with a number that he really liked. And he also liked the fact that he wasn't going to need to paint and do some of the things that you normally would or often would need to do to get your home ready for the open market. And he also liked the number because it was more than what he thought he could get out of it. However, he had also spoken to a real estate agent and the agent gave him a number which was significantly higher than the number that the investor gave him. So what I asked him to do was talk to the agent and ask for um, a list of comparable properties uh, similar to his property that had recently sold in the area to give him an idea of where the kind of sale price he might be able to get out on the market and then also look at what's the competition in the area and are homes really selling fast are they um are days on market really low all those things factor into how much money you can get out of the sale of your home and whatever way he wants to go he needs to know both of those scenarios so that he can decide is it really worth it for him to go ahead and sell to an investor at a discounted price or do the work necessary to put his home out there on the open market. It's um, There's a lot of things that go into making those determinations and it's just really important that you get all the information so you can make an informed decision. I, For me, you know, part of my process when I'm working with sellers is I show them the properties that I'm looking at. I show them what's happening in the market and then we discuss how we're gonna position their home in the market such that it's going to attract the most amount of buyers to their home and ideally drive that price up. Uh, so that's just a, my process in a very, very brief nutshell. There's a lot more detail that goes into it. So uh, just a reminder, it can feel very attractive to push that easy button and I'm not gonna tell you it's wrong to do so. It's your home, your choice. However, I just strongly encourage to encourage you if you're thinking about that, get all the information, talk to a trust talk to a trusted professional. Don't just accept a number that's given to you. Understand why that number is the number or why those or why that price range is the price range so that you can make the best decision for you. That's really the most important thing. You work too hard for your home, you work too hard to pay those house payments, and you deserve to be able to make the decision that's right for you. And if you would like to have a property evaluation on your home, I'm always happy to do that and provide that consultation. My number is 636-856-6485. Again, that is 636-856-6485. And I wish you all a blessed day.